Hi, I'm Dave Marcotte from Emerson Swan. I'm here to demonstrate the 1960 fitting system for Watts Pert tubing. We're going to demonstrate a uh, half inch tubing at this point. Here's the uh, PEX ring. Demonstrate the PEX ring. Actually, if you look at the PEX ring, it'll have a bevel on one side so the tubing can slip on. And on the other side, there's a stop on the other side so you won't slide down your tubing. So what we're going to do is make sure when you're cutting the tubing that when you push down on the tubing cutter, just give it a little twist so it cuts easy and smooth. That'll give you a nice straight edge in square. So you want it square. We already showed you how the tubing, uh, I mean the ring works. You push the ring on, it'll stop on the tubing so it won't go any further. The next step would be to use the expansion tool. There's multiple tools that are on the market. We have a, a Milwaukee that I'm using right now. You gotta make sure you follow their, their instructions on how many expansions you need to do on each fit uh, different tubing and sizes. On the Milwaukee, they recommend seven to eight expansions on half inch tubing. So if you put the tool in, and the other thing I want to point out too is every time you pull the trigger on this it'll give you a little tiny rotation. The whole purpose of that rotation is if you can see the teeth on the tool what's going to happen is if you do not rotate the tool you're going to have a leak path, a possible leak path right here. So we want to do seven to eight times on this so if I put this in I'm going to pull the trigger and count is one Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Insert the fitting. You want to make sure the fitting bottoms out on the PEX ring. Uh, it's a nice tight fit. And this will shrink right up. You can actually turn it still. And you will not be able to pull this out. And you could actually air test it right away. It will not leak. So as the tubing shrinks back, it has a, a thermal and a shape memory to it. The tubing will actually shrink back down tighter and tighter. It'll make a better fitting over a longer period of time. If the tool does not rotate like this, you gotta make sure that you turn the head or do something, either move the gun or the tubing a little bit. And you don't have to be exact quarter inch, eighth inch. It just needs to mix up the teeth when you're uh, inside the tubing so you don't create a, a leak path. All right, we're gonna demonstrate how you uh, make the fitting with a, a manual tool instead of a power tool now. There's a few of these out on the market. Put the tool in, you expand it once, open it. Now when I'm open in this position, I can either turn the tubing, the tool, or if it's in the full expansion mode, this head will turn. So you can just kind of move this head with your finger a little bit. The whole point of that is to make sure you don't create that leak path that we talked about earlier. All right, there's two, there's three, there's four. Take the tool out with your fitting, push your fitting in. Make sure it's butted up on the face of the uh, ring. So this is coming back tighter and tighter and you'll be able to air test that in no time. All right, so I made up two fittings. I didn't rotate one, and one I did rotate. And then I cut the fitting off, and after that, we cut the tube and open so you can actually see the leak path. The one on my right, my right hand is the one that we did rotate. The one on my left hand, you'll see that, you'll see the leak paths that are in the tubing. So if you have a fitting that you put all together, it's bottomed out, looks all clean and neat but you still have a leak you're gonna have to take it off either investigate it see if the fitting is damaged or they didn't expand it correctly so what we're gonna do is you're gonna cut it off with a razor knife but you want to score just the ring so you want to cut the ring off once you cut the ring off you get a heat gun you heat the tubing up and then you pull the fitting off this way if it's not a damaged bob fitting you can save the fitting Okay, so we, get, we take the ring off. 
Did not score any of the tubing, so we don't want to damage our fitting. You need to get a heat gun. You want to heat the heat, heat up the tubing. And usually if you're doing this, you'll have a pair of pliers on the job site. So that takes your fitting off. So you want to cut off the part that you've already heated up and cut back a couple inches. Like I said before, you squeeze down a little bit, give it a little turn, cut it off. You'll have a square edge. Now you can put a new ring on there and then reuse that fitting. So that covers the PERT fitting system with the expansion ring F1960 fitting. Thanks.